This is how you make a plot with stock market data with a pandas data frame. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're gonna be continuing on with our series where we left off. So last time we uh, got this awesome data around. We went out to the internet and pulled down a data frame and we tweaked it some. So we have, and I did change this just a little bit to get rid of these last couple of issues that we had here. So I went back three years just to grab it and then still chopped off a year right here. And I said that we needed to go ahead and graph this. So now, all right, we, we know how we know how to do some graphing, but import matplotlib. Actually, that's from. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We import. We build one thing upon pyplot as plt. All right. So we build one subject upon a time, and typically we only do uh, one subject matter at a time. So let's just go ahead and bring this in. So with with our data frame, we can actually just plot this. So we don't need to print this anymore. All right. Plot and then then PLT show. But this isn't going to be quite exactly right. Yeah. Okay. So I gave it a data frame, right? Well, guess what? It, it went ahead and graphed everything in that data frame. But we don't really need everything right now, and we're going to build upon this. So how about we do close 50 and 200 day? All right, so let's tweak this just a little bit. Remember how I showed you how we did this right here? All right. So it's going to be very similar to this, and we need since uh, it's going to be very similar to indexing. It's going to be exactly like indexing. Sorry. So close. Then what I say? Uh, let's do 200 ma, 50, 50 m. I didn't turn that into a string. 50 ma and then also I think that's it for now yeah because we're gonna have another we're gonna look at something and we close that out plot here we go so let's here we go let's look at this again and this is gonna oh look at this look at this so now let's kind of talk about this a little bit so as this is coming down then so the blue is the close that's the price and then the uh, yellow or orange however you'd like to describe that this is the 200 day moving average so that as you can see it's a longer run so it's a smoother smoother curve and the 50 is of course shorter so it's a little bit more volatile but as you can see every time this thing bumps above it just for a time it comes way back down and as you can say, over the past 52 weeks, it has not crossed over the 200-day moving average, and that is a sign of some tremendous weakness that it has never, ever, ever crossed above that. But there's one more little added thing that I want us to do, and we're going to do this next video. But I want to do a secondary uh, Y to this, and I want to have... A, and we need to dress this up. So we got date. It went ahead and did that for us, but we do not have price over here. We got, don't have a title of what we're really looking at. And I want over here, I want a secondary graph of what percent this is of the 52 week high. We could do maybe later showing each time a new 52 week low is met. That can get a little busy this right here tells enough and then very very soon we're gonna be working on our stock screener I don't know if we're gonna uh, 
do some Django in between. Haven't quite decided yet because that stock screener can run, that, that could run over a week. So, but we are gonna finish this out, really dress this up so we can look at this. But we do need to tweak this right here a little bit for uh, when we are running off of our um, data frame plotting. So this is how you take, this is how you make a plot with stock market data with a pandas data frame. So please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.